first board, um, you should be aiming, aiming to get to four hearts by north. Um, if you're going to play OCP, the bidding may go something like this. OCP uses these motor responses over a takeout double. Um, so two diamonds here is a at least a two level uh, limit bid in hearts. Could be considerably better, could be a lot better. West not going to bid anything. Um, so North can make an immediate trial bid in clubs. And since uh, South's got a three level limit bid, he's just going to bid for. So the exact sequence you use doesn't particularly matter. Um, if you did something different uh, or if you didn't get a Descartes double, um, you should still be getting to four hearts here fairly comfortably. Board two. Oh, hang on. Sorry, I forgot to claim the board, but I'll do that. In a, I'll do that for the rest, Roger. <laughs> um, okay. One heart from east. Uh, again, if you're playing OCP, this will be a, a forcing one, no trump. If you're playing two over one, it might be slightly different. Uh, if you're playing something like Bergen. So with OCP, this is a three level limit bid. Um, not particularly wrong if you bid four hearts here, but it's a bit pushy. Um, probably better to give partner the option since two clubs doesn't promise any extra values. But uh, with a good 14 count, um, East is obviously going to bid four here. If anybody has any questions, by the way, or comments on these boards, please just shout up. Um, the uh, otherwise, I'm just going to rattle through these because we've we're nearly at the two hours I normally allot for these. Board three. I suppose some people might bid two clubs rather than doubling. Uh, I think I would double here. Um, but North's got a fairly comfortable and obvious four spade bid. Uh, not a very good board for... Or rather the vulnerability doesn't look good for... a an east-west sacrifice over four spades. Um, in practice, uh, five clubs isn't a bad sacrifice, really. You're only, you've only really got three tricks to lose, um, even though the vulnerability is suggesting that it's not a good, uh, not a good sack. Um, So I, there was one table I saw playing this. How is the right way to play this hand on, for example, from here, how are you going to play this? Um, 
the table that I witnessed tried to rough the diamonds good, um, which was not a great success. The absolutely obvious thing, you, you pretty much need Ace-King-X in diamonds in one hand uh, to achieve that. Um, trying to rough the hearts good is a much better proposition. Um, so just draw trumps in two rounds. Suck a heart. And in practice you only um, you only really need uh, hearts no worse than 4-2. In fact they're 3-3. Three, three. Um, And even if you had to concede a fourth heart, a third, a fourth round of hearts, you're still going to make your ten tricks. As it is with them, three, three, you're going to make eleven. Any questions? Okay, board four. Some people will double here. North may or may not bid four hearts here. They are completely maximum. And clearly South's got quite a nice hand here. I think in the North seat I'd be bidding four hearts. One of two black suit finesses is going to see you through to ten tricks here. Um, you're going to lose and split honours in heart. Or both with West. But four hearts is not a bad contract here. Any questions? Hand five.
long suit trial bid from East, who's got a a nice maximum, especially with the void in diamonds. And West quite happy to oblige here with uh, the King of Clubs. Even if uh, North South start off with a heart rough, uh, sorry, a club rough. Um, they're still east west is still going to make uh, 10 tricks because it's south is wrapping with a natural trump trick uh, so he, if he gets his rough he doesn't get his queen of hearts um, and the losing spade in dummy will go away on the fourth club So it swings and roundabouts. And if uh, Declara here plays the clubs properly, they'll start off um, with the Queen of Clubs and then eventually a club to the King which will show up the uh, the club finesse against North for the spade discard. Again, any questions or comments, just uh, shout up. Okay, board six. OCP, uh, the full version of OCP, we haven't got there in the course yet, would actually open this east hand with two no trumps, which is a multi-style bid showing either weak with both minors or intermediate with both majors uh, or a club preempt. But at the moment we're uh, still at the stage of opening this hand with one spade. Um, West has a very strong hand here. If you're playing two over one, you'll doubtless be coming in with a Jacobi two no trumps or something similar. Um, again, OCP playing asking bids uh, would bid this hand very differently than what I'm showing you, but uh, we've not got to the asking bids yet. So really, all West can do at the moment is just bid a... a a two club force so even in OCP this is still forcing two spades um, showing the fifth heart And from here you can either Q-bid with the West Hand um, or use Roman key card. Um, just do Roman key card.
you'd like to be able to get to seven hearts here. Um, OCP with asking bids would get to seven hearts because uh, Wes can find out about ace queen to five hearts, which is absolutely all the hand needs. But uh, I think since you you can't be sure, there's not a diamond loser. Um, Or a loser somewhere else. You, you know about the ace of hearts, but you don't know about the queen of hearts. Um, six hearts is probably the sensible limit. Oh, sorry. You're quite right. Spades is trumps. Thank you very much. In fact, you're going to make 13. If you if you bid to seven spades, well done. Um, like I said, the full version of OCP with uh, asking bids would get there very comfortably. Uh, not least because over a two-node trump opening, East is already known to be 5-5 five, five in the majors. Um, and we're in an asking bid sequence where he can find out about uh, the Queen of Hearts. And the ace king of spades as well as the ace of hearts and that's all that matters board seven Again, OCP with asking bids would, would bid this very differently. Um, personally, I'm going to bid three diamonds here as an advanced qubit. South won't realize that yet. Seven spades might seem a little bit weird, but don't forget, North knows that South hasn't got three hearts here. Otherwise, they just have bid um, three hearts over three diamonds. Um, and in practice, seven spades, again, just needs the hearts no worse than 4-2. Uh, it doesn't rely on a diamond finesse. So hearts 4-3 if South has a singleton heart, or, four, or no worse than 4-2 if uh, they've got a doubleton, or the queen of hearts of course. Seven spades, not a bad, uh, not a bad contract. Saw a couple of some at least one person get to six spades there. Um, 
six spades is obviously absolutely solid, but seven spades needs not very much to be right in the uh, in the south hand. Once you know they got ace queen to six spades and the ace of clubs, and no decent support for either red suit. Board eight. Okay, no CP. Um, you could bid four spades here in the east hand. Um, if north doubles. I think four spades is probably the standout bid. But with a pass from north, you might opt to go a little bit slower, especially if you're playing precision, where uh, you know that west has got a maximum of 15 count. Um, so I think the most that east could do here is probably a mini splinter with two no trumps So a club short is exactly what uh, West wants to hear. Um, it implies that East has got probably some help in the red suits and good trump support and a good fitting clubs. Um, mini splinters are all about getting to really good thin games, sub-minimum games, based solely on fit. So if you got to four spades there, well done. Especially if you went to uh, the mini splinter route. Um, I saw one intrepid south um, sacrifice, oh sorry, a north who doubled on this not very inspiring eight count. And south eventually sacrificed in five clubs. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head whether this was doubled or not uh, it certainly ought to be but um, not doubled should have been Joe it certainly would have been doubled if I'd been uh, if I'd been playing <laughs> uh, certainly five clubs are going to get taken to the cleaners Yes, indeed. <laughs> Again, at this vulnerability, I'm not even sure I would have bid five clubs, given the double. Um, at level vulnerability. If, uh, if ops are, are bidding voluntarily to four spades, it's unlike, especially if East has shown a club shortage you know the clubs probably aren't splitting for you um, I'm not sure I'd have bid five clubs ok board nine again okay, OCP uses these motor responses um When our West will bid two clubs, um, 
which is a transfer to diamonds at this stage. So this, this diamond feature could be um, well, okay, I, I mean, um, I'm not going to tell West how to bid. Uh, certainly if you if you're playing um, OCP, uh, I would expect you to follow this kind of an auction. Um, so here the, the, the two club bid followed by two spades is a right yes okay one spade double four spades I, I did say that, that you might well bid four spades over a double but over a pass from north I think you'd be more likely to go a slower route especially if partner is 11 to 15 if you're playing two over one um, you might hope that they're a bit stronger. But when you know partner's got a maximum of 15, um, uh, there's, there's less of a, an urge to push straight on to four with an effective six count. Especially not vulnerable if, at imp scoring. Um, so like I said here, uh, the two cup followed by two spades shows a diamond feature, which is really a defensive measure in case north-south end up buying the contract. Um, it's suggesting diamonds would be a good lead. So it's either a diamond shortage or a diamond suit headed by the ace or king. Um, Again, East is pretty much maximum if they're 11 to 15. Uh, they've got a club shortage. They've got some help in diamonds if partner has got diamonds. And uh, so that seems reasonable. But there is um, a catch in the play on this hand. And I did see one person not spot how to play this hand so I'm just going to whiz through the play quickly um, if you found this line then my congratulations uh, but it's it's not difficult to go wrong here um, this needs careful and disciplined declare a play Okay, so that's a that's a fairly obvious sequence to play to this point. The question is now what you should you do? You've you've escaped a heart lead, which is what makes would make this slightly more difficult. The question is how to play the diamonds. And the standout way from here if you're not going to draw the third trump immediately this is is to lead the nine if the if the diamonds are three two this hand is absolutely no problem but once once north plays the jack that's why you should lead the nine in case <coughs> south has four of them Especially it's with, if it's with uh, if North has a singleton honour. 
it's just careful to lead the nine because on the four, on the third round you're now going to be able to finesse against south and actually the way to play this now is just to play a small diamond back and north is absolutely stuck if he roughs then uh, the diamonds are established now and even on a heart switch at this point north can just take the ace of hearts cash the king cross back to a spade and run the diamonds if north decides not to rough mark finesse against south and again north can take the seven of spades but he still has an entry to the king but note if you don't lead the nine of diamonds you've now blocked the diamond suit so you don't have that extra entry uh, into the west hand any questions Board 10. Again, OCP has these motor responses. So one no trump is a transfer to clubs. Um, and it's going to be... Oh, sorry wrong hand so this is sorry I was misreading the north hand um, so this is 12 plus typically a holding such as high X or XX in spades not good support um, there's normally better ways of bidding where you've got really nice support um, 3 to an honor or something as good as that in spades but similarly you don't want a shortage um, so this is saying I fancy getting a penalty here um, I'm not sure about making four spades uh, but I think we can penalize almost anything that they get to East is stuffed they're not going to bid anything and it doesn't really matter whether West bids two clubs or two hearts. Um, uh, North is going to double it, and either of them is probably going to go for about 800, uh, which is better than a vulnerable game for North South. Alternatively, you might play that North would pass here and South would double for takeout uh, and North would then pass for penalties. Uh, either is perfectly fine. It depends on your partnership agreements. Board 11. No, Michael, he, he's forced. He's forced to bid here. He can't. He can't leave one. No, Trump redoubled him because it's a game, and in practice, North are going to make um, how many over tricks? Five. There's one, two, three. Uh, they're going to make two over tricks in in. Oh, sorry, three over tricks in one spade redoubled. Um, which is a telephone number. West even two hearts. 
Well, it's just unfortunate that his partner's got a Yarborough virtually. Um, and North's got a 13 count. Uh, I think a lot of people would double with that West hand. It's just unlucky. You know, you pay your money and you take your choice. If you pass with that with that West hand, then um, that's fine. You know, North will North South will almost certainly get to three no trumps or thereabouts, um, and make probably six hundred six hundred and thirty. One N with a thirteen count? I don't think so, Sanya. One N would be fifteen to seventeen for most people. Oh, East. Why would they be one N? On a one count? On the basis of four card spades? Okay. Um, one N is only making three tricks. That's four off doubled. That's even worse than two hearts. Anyway. Um, uh... I, I certainly wouldn't be bidding one end on a one count. Um, if West's got a suit they can bid, let them bid it. I don't mind what it is. I think one end would be totally misleading by East here. Um, okay, back to board 11. Um... We've had a discussion actually in the OCP forums about this sort of situation. Personally, I would bid with this north hand. Um, I've said the line I draw is in about an eight count. I would bid one no trump here and hope to find a better fit. So two clubs might only be three card with OCP or even with 2 over 1 um, North might pass this uh, I think really good 5 card support for clubs and the Ace of Diamonds uh, I think I would make a little bit of a push um, In the lap of the gods, really. Uh, three clubs not forcing. Um, but it is suggesting that possibly North has got potentially a few more points than they have. Maybe a 10, 10 or 11 count. Um, not necessarily five card clubs, of course. Uh, with a nice 5-5 five, five and good controls... I saw one table where East West ended up playing this in hearts at some level, um, which didn't play that well, but it was better than five clubs by North South. Any questions? Uh. Again, I think I saw one south Come in with two spades here. Um, uh, I'm not sure I would at this vulnerability. It's a nice spade suit, but uh, you are vulnerable and they aren't. Uh, I would wait and see if the bidding died sooner or early, lower. Now you might come in with two spades, but I wouldn't come in with two spades over 
Um, North has nice five card support, but they are flat. And again, I saw somebody bid, I think, four spades on this north hand. Um, uh, at this stage in the bidding, I wouldn't. Um, four spades is just asking to get whacked. Uh, it wasn't at the table. It only went four spades was only two off. Um, but minus 500 is worse than east west bidding and making four hearts and they haven't even got there yet fair enough i mean if it's negative three then then that's 800 the point is it should be doubled for spades um, East has shown some values here uh, so with a maximum for OCP anyway a maximum 15 count all oh, right maybe it was three spades I saw them get to um, but uh, four hearts is pretty good here um, north south can't attack diamonds without I thought there was. Um, uh, North South can't attack diamonds, which gives, um, without giving up a diamond trick, uh, which gives uh, East West plenty of time to draw trumps and establish the, the clubs for a diamond discard. And so on to the last set. I saw some intrepid north-south pair bid to seven spades on this. Um, effectively just has to be a punt that uh, you need to find the Queen of Diamonds. Um, six spades is a good contract. Uh, Again, OCP has absolutely no problem getting six spades. Uh, it's a little bit awkward if you're playing two over one, but if you've got splinters available, you might bid four clubs here. Um, again, if you're going to splinter in OCP, it would be four hearts to show the club shortage. But OCP doesn't use splints as much. And again, if uh, if South has splintered in clubs, it makes it much more likely that uh, you may have a problem with the Queen of Diamonds. Um, it makes it much more likely that South has got Ace to three diamonds rather than Ace X when uh, they've got a, sh a club shortage. <coughs> 
excuse me. So hopefully you'd stop in six spades. Uh, said the table I watched bid to seven spades and uh, just drew trumps and took the darn finesse um, against East. So well done. Uh, but really, there's no reason necessarily that you would place East rather than West with the Queen. So you're completely on a guess. And uh, there's no squeeze operating here. Um, you can't retain enough threat. Uh, you know, you can you can make sure you've got a the nine of hearts at a threat as a threat against East. Um, but either way, if uh, you can't retain a threat against West. <coughs> and uh, you still don't know who's got the Queen of Diamonds. Um, if you assume that East has got it, you might as well just take the finesse. Plus, plus, plus. Did I claim here? I think I have. Okay, board 14. Yeah, but he wasn't. Hang on a second. That still doesn't mean he's got the Queen of Diamonds, though. Um, Walid. Okay, it's 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 perhaps playing with the odds. Um, but the way you played it, you hadn't even established that uh, that West had. Sorry, that East had six hearts. You just drew two rounds of trumps and took the diamond finesse. Um, you absolutely no idea. You had no, whoever it was I was watching, had absolutely no idea what the count on the hand was. Yes, you're right. You, you could well establish that East started with four diamonds, which does make it... Yeah, okay. But I mean, even if you find out that the the East has four diamonds and West has three, which you can establish if you rough two rounds of clubs and two rounds of hearts, you are going to find out the position in the round suit. Um, and yes, that's a possible indication and the overcall probably helped. But I still wouldn't bid seven spades rather than six spades on the basis of that. Anyway, okay, um, where are we? Port 14. So still no asking bids here. Again, if you're playing two over one, you've got the luxury of just being able to bid two hearts here to agree hearts. Um, if you're not, uh, and you're not playing asking bids, then pretty much you have to resort to a, a game forcing four suit force by responder. So this now this now agrees hearts. Cubid. Uh, 
another cubit. He had another cubit. Again, depends what your agreements are here. Um, so, I mean, I you would play that this is the uh, the Queen of Hearts, but no side suit king. On the other hand, West has bid four spades, so that must be a singleton. He knows about ace-queen X or ace-queen to four hearts. Must have the ace of diamonds and the ace of clubs, and bid two clubs originally. So seven hearts looks pretty good here. Board 15. I think probably anybody playing 2 over 1 or OCP is going to have the same sequence here. Uh, you're a little bit more stuck if you're playing standard American. But playing OCP or 2 over 1 um, again if you're playing OCP uh, with asking bids in the equation, you have to go a different route than this. But at, the, at this stage of the, uh, the course that OCP is on, um, but you're okay if you're playing two over one or OCP with asking bids, because it just goes one spade, two clubs, two diamonds, three clubs and that's uh, or one spade one no trump sorry one spade two clubs two diamonds um, two no trumps eleven sol three clubs pass either way you get to three clubs which makes very comfortably and so the last hand So the trick here is to get to seven hearts by east west. I saw one uh, north bid two diamonds on this north hand, which I think is highly suspicious. Um, uh, to find partner with ace king to six diamonds um, I think if uh, if I was a TD in a tournament and somebody said oh Norse bid two diamonds on this nine count with queen to queen seven to five diamonds um, I would start wondering whether north south were talking Three diamonds by south, of course, is perfectly reasonable. Um, the 
question is, what should West do here over three diamonds? Um, personally, I think I bid four diamonds. Which certainly implies a heart fit. Um, First round control of all three side suits. Um, opposite a two over one. I think I'm bidding six hearts here. And that makes the four diamond bid. All these bids in diamonds makes it totally clear what West has in diamonds. And the six heart bid makes it fairly clear that they've got um, support for hearts and control of the black suits on the other hand East doesn't know for sure about the Queen of Clubs and he certainly doesn't know about the club suit so I think he'd probably let six hearts rest it's not easy to get to seven hearts here did anybody imagine sorry did anybody manage seven hearts on these cards anybody well I think you should get to six hearts um, like I said seven hearts is cold but uh, very difficult to reach uh, it's not often you can get to Ten to one. Yes, I know. I'm just finishing. Now, you just normally finish at twelve. Yes, I know. Right. So why are you an hour late? Because it was a tawny. Okay. Oh, my supper. Right. Make it. When do the clocks change? Um, in about an hour and ten minutes. Okay, guys. Um, well done to everybody. Uh, my congrats to. Uh, Wacker Jack and his bot who came out top of the heap. I uh, hope you all enjoyed the hands. Um, don't forget that the uh, the clocks in Europe go back by one hour at two o'clock this morning. So if you're in Europe, the OCP session next Saturday will seem to be an hour earlier at uh, 9 p.m. And uh, in in two weeks time if you're in the US continent and using daylight savings uh, your clocks will have gone back next Sunday morning so in two weeks time the OCP session will be one hour early for you guys at four o'clock New York time okay see you all next week if you're uh, coming to the OCP sessions and uh, said hope you enjoyed the hands nice all